This is John McQuay with 8541 Tactical, and we're here today to give you guys a quick review of the Alpenlore Survival Belt. Uh, Alpenlore sent one of these belts to us a little while back, and I have been wearing it uh, quite a bit over the last few weeks, and uh, it's got some really interesting features. Now, normally belts are something we don't really think about. You know, they're used to hold our pants up, you know, hold our gun on our hip, and uh, that's really about it. Uh, but when you do stuff like backpacking and you start going out into the backcountry, then you really want to make sure that every piece of gear really fills multiple roles and can be used in multiple different ways. Um, Carrying a survival kit is really a great idea, and making a survival kit so that it is something that can always be on your body, not tucked away in the bottom of your pack, is a really great option. And Alpenlore does this in a really unique way. Uh, what they do first of all is the belt starts out as up to 12 feet of what they call pro web, and that's this webbing right here, which of course can be used for uh, a variety of different instances in itself. And the pro webbing serves as kind of the base to support up to 50 feet of what they call their pro cord, which is kind of their version of 550 cord. And that is woven in this uh, nice, aesthetically pleasing braid uh, over the outside. Uh, now, there are a couple of different versions. Our version comes with the Cobra buckle, and that's a $89.99 version. Uh, the other version has a polymer buckle, and that one runs about $79.99. So you're talking about a $10 difference, and for the $10 upgrade, uh, I would go with the Cobra buckle. It's incredibly strong. Uh, you don't have to worry about it breaking in sub-freezing temperatures. So that's a really nice option. And then you have this neat little triangle uh, attachment here uh, that you could put a carabiner through. I don't know that I would try to use this for repelling, uh, but in an emergency, you do what you can. Make sure you don't shock load it too much and you may be able to get away with it. Uh, the biggest kind of unique feature about this belt is the fact that in this hard part right here, uh, you have a concealed survival kit. Now, this survival kit, this is what really interested me about this whole belt setup. Uh, it is stuck down inside here, so you can pull it out without really unraveling the entire belt, but then you would have to cut the little guy open to get into the contents. But contained in here are three matches, a surgical blade, a ferro rod, and two fish hooks. Uh, so that combined with the webbing and combined with the cordage on the outside, uh, you really have almost everything you need for a basic survival kit. Now, Alpenlore adds a couple extras. Uh, they also offer this, uh, or add this pocket guidebook with your belt, uh, so it's easy for you to stick in your pocket, stick in your pack uh, somewhere else, and it comes in this really uh, nifty Ziploc bag that, of course, works well as a water gathering device. So, you've got water gathering, fish hooks, you have food gathering, uh, the matches and the ferro rod, you have fire starting. Uh, the cordage and the webbing, you have shelter building. And of course, the uh, either the guidebook itself or the matches or ferro rod to build a fire, uh, that kind of covers your signaling. So you really have all your aspects of a survival kit covered in just this belt that you wear around your waist. Now, there are a couple of drawbacks to it that we found. Uh, one of the drawbacks uh, immediately apparent is where the survival kit is placed is not going to work for all body types. I found that if I wore the belt like I normally would with the buckle straight on my center line, uh, this little survival kit, which is the hard part in the belt, uh, usually ended up right over my hip bone. So a really quick and easy way to do this is to just slide it to one side so that the survival kit runs a little bit closer up front and that gets it off my hip bone. And when I'm wearing my pack belt, uh, my waist belt for my pack, uh, it doesn't really crush this in on my hip bone. Uh, so that was a simple matter. Uh, because the kit is removable, if you chose to do so, uh, you can put it pretty much anywhere you want in here as long as you're able to tie this braid uh, and get it lined back up. Now, 
the once the uh, web or the cordage is tied over the webbing, it is melted in place. Uh, so when you remove it, it's not going to go back on uh, exactly the way it came. So expect once you take it apart. Uh, it is a part you're going to have to do some work to retie it. Now, the benefit of having it melted on like that is there are no knots to come untied. So you don't have to worry about it working loose over time. Uh, it's in there. It's good to go. Uh, the only other drawback that we really found is uh, some firearm holsters are not going to work well with this. And because of the size of the end of the Cobra buckle, uh, if you want to thread this through most holsters, uh, you are just going to have to push the webbing back through the buckle and undo it like that to thread it through. And then, of course, uh, once you get it threaded back through the Cobra buckle, now, if you uh, need to drop trowel quickly, you still have the ability just to detach the Cobra buckle and uh, take care of it. The Alpenlore belt overall, I found to be fairly high quality. Now, unfortunately, it is made overseas. Uh, it's not made here in the US, so that is a slight ding uh, that I will give it. But that's really that. And the other two points I mentioned are the only drawbacks to the belt. Uh, now, $80 and $90 respectively may seem a bit steep for a belt. Um, you're going to have to decide uh, if that works for your budget. Obviously, with all of the pieces, it is something that someone uh, who's enterprising could gather all the materials and make one at home and probably come in at a little bit less than the price that you're buying here and obviously make your own guidebook and that kind of stuff. Uh, but you have to take into account what your time is worth. And for me, saving a couple hours uh, putting all this stuff together uh, really offsets the $70 to $80 price tag. Now, obviously, Alpenlore did send this out to us to review it. But I think overall, it offers a really good value in the components, uh, especially the Cobra buckle, which is not a cheap piece. And this really is load rated. It is a heavy duty monster buckle, and it is way, way overkill for this application. But if you're in the back country and you need to rig up uh, some kind of improvised sling or improvised uh, climbing apparatus, uh, then the fact that you have a load rated buckle on here uh, really may be the saving grace. So take that into account when you're looking at the overall materials that the belt is constructed with and if you're considering the cost. That is about it for the Alpenlore buckle. Belt, we will leave a link down below on where you can pick one up yourself. If you guys have any questions or comments on the belt itself, anything contained, or anything in general, please leave your comment in the comment section below. If you like this video, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, get out and shoot!